everyone and welcome to our celebration of the fourth Sunday of Easter. For our children's liturgy of the word today, we are going to hear another story about Jesus and how he is the path to heaven. Now, at the time of Jesus, many people were farmers and the sight of a shepherd and his sheep would have been a familiar one. Shepherds traditionally walked at the front of a group of sheep instead of herding them from the back. And the sheep would recognize the shepherd's voice and follow him because they trusted him. At night, the shepherds would gather their flocks into small stockades or groups and lie across the entrance to wherever they were sleeping in order to protect the sheep from wandering away or from any wild animals coming to them. In today's gospel, Jesus describes himself as a shepherd who leads the sheep, those who follow him, to rich pastures and the safety of his sheepfold. Let's get started. Our first reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood with the 11 apostles and spoke in a loud and clear voice to the crowd. Everyone in Israel should know for certain that God has made Jesus both Lord and Christ, even though you put him to death on a cross. When the people heard this, they were very upset. They asked Peter and the other apostles, friends, what shall we do? Peter said, turn back to God. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ so that your sins will be forgiven. Then you will be given the Holy Spirit. This promise is for you and your children. It is for everyone our Lord God will choose, no matter where they live. Peter told the people many other things as well. Then he said, I beg you to save yourselves from what will happen to all these evil people. On that day, about 3,000 believed his message and were baptized. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me in singing our responsorial song. I will sing it first, and then when I raise my hands, I will repeat it, and you can sing it with me. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad. Now for our second reading. A reading from the first book of Peter. If you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have also been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross so that free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. For you had gone astray like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the singing of our gospel acclamation and the reading of the gospel. Alle, alle, alle. John. May the word of God be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you for certain that only thieves and robbers climb over the fence instead of going through the gate to the sheep pen. But the gatekeeper opens the gate for the shepherd, and he goes in through it the sheep knows their shepherd's voice. He calls each of them by name and leads them out. When he has led out all of his sheep, he walks in front of them and they follow because they know his voice. The sheep will not follow strangers. They don't recognize a stranger's voice and they run away. Jesus told the people this story, but they did not understand what he was talking about. Then Jesus said, I tell you for certain that I am the gate for the sheep. Everyone who came before me was a thief or a robber, and the sheep did not listen to any of them. I am the gate. All those who come in through me shall be saved. Through me, they will come and go and find pasture. A thief comes only to rob, kill, and destroy. I came so that everyone would have life and have it in its fullest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, in today's readings, we hear a lot about sheep and shepherds, and we hear about a gate. It doesn't mean that Jesus is an actual gate, that if we open him up somehow, he's part of a fence and we can just walk through. He's what we would call a metaphorical gate. He is the gate to heaven. And if we follow Jesus and we listen to his words through the Bible, then we can go to heaven through him because he died on the cross and our sins were forgiven through him. There's one line in today's gospel reading that I find particularly powerful. And that line is that he calls the sheep by name. I don't know about you guys, but I like when people use my name. When people call out to me and go, hey you, or miss, or help. I don't always understand that they're calling for me. I think they're just calling for anyone. So when somebody uses my name, Marissa, or Miss Miranda, then I know that they want my attention, that they need me for something. And Jesus calls each of us by name. We don't hear it in our ears, but we might hear it in our brains or our hearts or our souls. Jesus is calling for us every day to walk with him and to follow him because we are his sheep. He is the shepherd. He walks in front of us and leads us through these gates to heaven. Now, for today, I don't have a craft for you. Instead, I have an activity. I 
want you guys to kind of experience this following somebody, especially following somebody by name, okay? So I actually have two activities that you can get up and get moving and practice what you learned with today's reading. For the first one, you're not going to need anything but your body and your voice. Oh, and I guess your ears too, because you're gonna have to listen. We're gonna play something called Marco Polo, but we're gonna change the words. When you play Marco Polo, one person says Marco and everybody else playing calls out Polo. And Marco has to use only their ears to find the people saying Polo and tag them. Sometimes Marco even has to wear a bandana or something around their eyes to cover them up so that they cannot see because sometimes our Marcos like to cheat. And a lot of times this game is played in the pool. So you get in the pool, one person is swimming around going Marco, 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 and everybody else is yelling Polo. But instead of that, you guys are going to play sheep and ba. So when Marco, the leader, calls out sheep, I want everybody to yell, ba, who's playing with them. Now, our shepherd is probably gonna have a hard time finding his sheep if you all are yelling just ba, right? But after a few turns of yelling out sheep, the shepherd should call out a sheep's name, like Marissa. And then only the sheep named Marissa, which in this case is me, would yell, ba. And that would make it a lot easier for the shepherd to find that sheep, right? So I want you guys to try that game and see if the shepherd can find his sheep or her sheep by listening only. The next activity is another one you can do with very little materials. So I went searching in my craft closet and I found some little foam styrofoam ball thingies that we could use. Or if you had cotton balls or even just a plain sheet of white paper, you can use any of these objects for the next game. What you're gonna do is create some little sheep. They don't need to be too big, probably only about as big as the end of your thumb, okay? You can see my styrofoam balls are about the same size. A cotton ball would be about the same size. And you wanna hide your sheep somewhere around a room. Or if you can go outside, try to keep them in a smaller area so that the person searching for them, the shepherd, doesn't have to search too far. This game works a little bit like hot and cold. You hide your sheep, and then as the shepherd walks around, as the shepherd gets closer to a sheep, the person who hid the sheep is gonna say, ba, 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 faster and faster. But if they walk away from the sheep, your baas are going to get softer and slower and quieter. Ba, ba, ba. And in that way, your shepherd will know where to look for the sheep and will hopefully find them all. Make sure you count and let the shepherd know how many sheep that they are looking for before you start this game, or you will end up finding random sheep everywhere afterwards. All right, guys, I hope that those games help you remember today's lesson, which is that Jesus calls us by name because he is the shepherd and we are his sheep and he will lead us through the gates of heaven. Let's finish with our intercessions and our profession of faith. As brothers and sisters in one loving family, together let us pray to our Heavenly Father. For the church and its many Christian folds, that united as one flock, we may follow the Good Shepherd's voice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people who are afraid or feel lost, that the Good Shepherd will help them to follow the right way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of nations and countries, 
but they will treat those in their care with love and respect. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially those who have died from the COVID-19 coronavirus, that they may enjoy everlasting life and eternal peace with the Good Shepherd in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Knowing that our Heavenly Father is listening in the silence of our hearts, let us show, share our unspoken prayers with him. Loving Father, watch over your flock as you guide and protect us and help us follow your path wherever it might lead. We make our prayers through Christ, your Son. Amen. Now please pray our children's profession of faith with me. I believe in God, our Father who created heaven the world, and everything in it. I believe his son Jesus was born to his mother Mary, and he died, but came alive again on Easter, and he went to heaven to join his father. I believe in the Holy Spirit, who makes us alive and fills our hearts with love and goodness. I believe heaven is full of saints, and I believe in our church for loving and serving God. And I believe, when the time comes, I can be in heaven with God too. Amen. Have a great week, friends. Remember that God is our shepherd. Jesus is our shepherd. They are both watching out for us and guiding us and wanting us to follow the right path right into the gates of heaven. Bye.